shut down by Aleutian. JNAP's infield to Chicago. Chicago back to JNAP. JNAP's back wow. to Rizzo. Rizzo off the backboard, slowing down, going for his own shot. And he hits the shot, gets the goal. G2 ahead. And what a way to start out the series. Everybody getting a little piece of this ball, tossing around the field back and forth. We even saw Rizzo earlier on hit that one into the corner to keep possession. Their priorities are set. They don't care about putting every shot on net. They just care about keeping the ball between their, themselves and making sure it goes to a teammate. Oh, AJ, okay, he responds right away off the kickoff. So this one uh, a bit confusing. We'll take another look. Chicago cheated up, and he goes for the buff. Rizzo thought that perhaps Chicago would have hit AJ off the ball. Plays really did so much for his stock in that tournament. And under all that pressure for being new to, this, to the competitive scene in RLCS, at least, being on that stage for the first time, he popped off. Oh, but a little chip shot under him from Rizzo. I didn't think this had the power to go in, but it kind of slotted right under the car. And Chicago gets in to the play there, hits it straight up off the stage. will turn. First touch, gets one pop, bumped by another, couldn't stay with it. Gyro, pass Rizzo, Gyro going for the bump on Chicago, oh, gets the demo on the goal line, and there's that demo you were calling for, Joe. Yeah. That's what I love to see, and you have to fight fire with fire. Go for some demos against G2. If they're gonna hit you with everything they've got you without even caring where the ball is, they just wanna get boost. Oh, infield pass, that's gonna go off the backboard. Chicago respawn, comes into the play, the shot. High rebound to Rizzo, Rizzo hits the target. G2 win game one. If Rizzo is shooting on point today, he's even more scary. Look at him, he gets it across uh, towards Aleutian and finds the right side of the net. When you're crashing in, it's all about that placement. And of course, it's Rizzo to follow up. So we'll see how game two plays out. JNAP's backward pass, Chicago going for the double. Wow. And cha-ching, easy peasy for Chicago. It's such a smart play. Look at where Chicago places this first ball. He sees there's two players in net. So what does he do? He hits it above, makes them use their flip Flop all over the net. This is the last assault for the peeps. Gyro it will have to keep this alive. It's airborne, Aleutian. We'll look for AJ, AJ. Cut off by Rizzo. Rizzo going for the double, it's still alive. <laughs> the team bump, and that'll do it for game two. Man, that was that was crazy. We got a zero second buzzer beater. Oh, that's great, you can starve out your opponent. Sometimes it leaves a lot of gaps on your defense, but if you keep starving them out and they can't push out with boost, they're not oh, gonna do any pass. Oh. Gyro catches it and flings it to AJ. What a pass from Gyro. Kept it close. There we go, Gyro. That first touch, so crucial to making sure you can execute on that play. The peeps, they start out strong. Last game, we saw G2 score very quickly, and they do it again off kickoff. JNEBS, what was this read, Turtle? I, I don't know how he read this. He, he almost read the dunker, hit from oh. Illusion. That's crazy, because it seemed like he positioned himself to the point where he could also get a touch if Illusion did get a hit. Or also, if he missed, he played both of, of the scenarios, and of course, he ends up with the goal. Tough break for the peeps. Hasn't been working out well for him. They finally get a lead off a dazzling pass from Gyro. And now another quick goal from JNABS. He powers this one by battering against the crossbar, but it still goes in. For the game one, it was all Rizzo. Game two, it was all Chicago. And now in game three, it's all to the middle. JNABS ready. Chicago completely misses. AJ Airborne gonna go for a 50. Rizzo gets the better of him. JNAPS is there, hat trick for JNAPS. He's, he's trying to copy that style that Rizzo had in game one. Look at that 50 from, from Rizzo though, speaking of the man himself in that midfield challenge. If he doesn't win that, he's for the man. Almost put that one in Chicago. There's always somebody on G2 who can get in front of those shots. The defensive reads when things get dire are working pretty well, but that bump was even better. The peeps now within one. We gotta pay attention to Chicago on the defensive side where he's looking for a hit. He would have had a challenge, but he was bumped out by Ble Aleutian across the field. Rizzo demos one. 
Oh, just look at the effect of that one demo from Rizzo. There's so much space now on the field. And there's Lucian. You know, I talked about the space on the field. I guess, I guess you don't even go for demos because he rotated all the way back to net. And that was a great pass from Gyro. Illusion had zero boost, picks up one pad, but Rizzo, you saw him waiting. Unanswered in favor of the peeps. And we've got a game. Oh, the bump. What? How did you get that bump? Who, who was this on, on uh, the side of the peeps? I believe it was Gyro. Oh, man. Gyro. What? How Gyro he into that bump. Dude, this from Gyro gets back to the wall, lobs it up high. Rizzo will have J Naps. J Naps to Chicago. Chicago, first touch control, goes for a shot, denied. Rebound to J Naps. The weak drop. Chicago pokes it in. G2. The ball movement is there, and the goal is the reward. Oh, it's always about how they rotate out of the offensive half. Look at Chicago, instead of going all the way to the corner. Both teams showing grit and determination. The net wide open, Illusion doesn't steal it. Gyro getting the lead right back for the Peeps. Oh, good, good third man read from Gyro. He saw the opening, boosted straight to the wall. And I mean, I'm kind of wondering where that third man was rotating from G2. Likely be the final assault. Rizzo attacking. Chicago hard up. hit. It's up for j -Naps. It. This one's bouncing down, j -Naps. Couldn't make it work, but Rizzo keeps it alive. Gyro touches it down. Oh. Rizzo can't turn in time. And the Peeps in a, really a slugfest. Gyro double commits with AJ. Illusion at 50. This is gonna be awkward for the Peeps. Chicago, hard shot, top corner. No stopping that one. This is one of the things, or one of the reasons, excuse me, why I love the dominant. You can just, Tip this ball so easily. A lot of times with the Octane, you need to like kind of get under it and jump right away, but and you're not punishing their mistakes. It's just gonna be a same, uh, the same result of game one and two. I, th I think the dominance is so hard because if you just drive into it sometimes. Oh, Chicago driving into this one as well. What were you well. saying about the dominance? What I were you saying, saying about the dominance? It's hard huh? to do, but Chicago makes it look easy. Even on that last shot, jumping car, at the man. perfect time to get the height and act. Good start from Chicago, but we saw the peeps when they gave up those three straight goals from G2, still managed to battle back in game three and get the win. Was that it? And now off the crossbar and in, AJ, when you think the peeps might be getting put out, they stand wow. right back up. Look at that read from Gyro, man. He is on the wall, predicting Chicago's hit. The goal. Demo ball out to AJ, AJ towards net. Rizzo has to turn, pokes it off to the side, the peeps. They have the possession. They're attacking the chance. The oh, Jairo, a Jairo fell in front of it, but Illusion still cleans up the rebound. I was in shock for a moment. Look at Rizzo. He got bumped <laughs> over across the net. And since he got bumped, he was able to save his flip. He got in front of that shot, but the aggression from the peeps was too much. Thankfully, they got somebody rotating in, and they are starving. G2, basically beating them at their own game. And then here's another kickoff goal for Illusion, what is happening on these kickoff games? We've seen multiple kickoff goals now for the peeps. j -Nav's cheating up a bit too far. The ball rolls out in the worst spot possible. That happened to Chicago for G2. They're wasting a lot of time in the corner. Finally, a clear coming out. AJ catches it, goes for another boomer. Oh, it gets no, by missed. Rizzo, taking his time, goes for the shot. AJ with all the time in the world, a small window, doesn't let the peeps down, and now a two goal lead. And the defense for G2 just collapsing. Rizzo in the final moment. He was the third man back. He's got to get a touch. He's got to stall out some time for his teammates. He pushed up just a little bit too far forward. And it's AJ to punish the peeps. Man, they have picked things up on defense so well. On the backboard especially. But there's a free one for Chicago. I guess there's a chance here. 47 seconds left. If you're just going to give him a goal like that, anything is possible. This one popped off gyro such a quick turn from chicago almost doesn't go in j nap Good pass center ball chicago over one illusion the clear right to j naps infield pass. Is. rizzo shot the ball he hits it 16 seconds left and g2 make a miracle happen
Chicago's got a hat trick, and he's also going in for this bump to so many insane plays from this player alone. JNAP's waiting for the shot. This one going high. AJ out to Illusion. Illusion what a saved save. by Chicago. Still not out just yet. And Gyro oh. will get it. JNAP's trying to save it out. Ends up hitting it into his own net. What a game. Oh, and that's just so unfortunate. It was such a tough angle. Jams had to get right under that ball. But that's a well-deserved goal, even if it was off of JNAPS. The pressure. Up, AJ. Low boost. Pinch will send this off the ceiling. Bounces down. Illusion handling it calmly. Look at the flick on that. Holy moly, Illusion from downtown. This man's not even on the Dominus. How did he pancake flip this? Look at this. Oh, my goodness. He sent that ball soaring. Will they do it? This one off the ceiling and down. No one can get there in the peeps. Reverse sweep G2.